it's kind of blinking red and green. The first rates are coming up on your screen as flat as it can be. Uh, four out points in the Nifty, Sensex about 17, 18 points. Uh, that's the, uh, those are the first ticks coming through. Nifty Bank is uh, down about 40 points. And you got the small cap, in, not the small cap, the mid cap index, which has done relatively much better as compared to the small cap. The mid cap index is starting uh, flat, but uh, slightly in the green. <coughs> well, plenty of stocks moving around actually from the broader markets. Aditya Birla Capital owing to that merger. Now that holding company discount goes away. So that stock is flying away. It's up close to around 5%. JTL, they've clarified on the exchanges that uh, the entity that is Zenith, uh, they have no relation with them. And in fact, business is functioning as usual. For the time being, the stock is up close to 5%. Keep in mind, yesterday it was down close to 20%. So that's a stock as well that you should keep on your radar. Another one is Geo Financial. What a dream run on that stock. Yesterday in a weak market, the stock was holding up. Today as well, it's holding up with a gain of close to 2.5%. Add to the list in terms of top volume movers, you have JM Financial as well that's pulled back close to 2%. What's not doing too well? KFIN, I think there was that block that we expected, so that stock is under pressure. It's down close to around 2.5% as we speak. ITC, the big boy in there, dragging down, moved to around 400 rupees. Or it's, there's a bit of an overhang because BAT could be looking to sell some stakes, so that stock is under pressure. And BEL is another stock in terms of top volume movers on the downside. Stock is down by close to around a percent and a half. You know, I'm looking at the, <clears throat> the small cap index. Let's pull that up uh, as we start. There is some underperformance uh, that's showing up already. Last I checked, it was down about, I think, a quarter percent. Mm, with Nifty small cap, yeah, it's about 0.2% lower. So let's see if there's stability or not. On the large cap screen, things are extremely quiet. I mean, no, we're not getting any big moves just yet. Adani Ports reacting to some of those brokerage notes quite well. Uh, large cap IT seems to be holding things up for what it's worth, at least for now. TCS and Infosys both are retaining a half a percent bounce. And some of the Tata Group stocks are rebounding. It's been a complete uh, flip-flop. Friday was the big rally. Monday was the sell-off. Now, Tuesday, uh, you've got uh, Tata Steel TCS, I mentioned. Tata Consumer is also on the upside of the screen. So, that's where the gainers are. But on the losing side, it's not just ITC. ITC has the bat overhang. But Nestle, Britannia, Lever, <clears throat> Asian Paints, I mean, the entire consumer lot is stacked up on the bottom side of the screen. Also, they're selling on some auto stocks. Uh, you've got uh, m and Aisha early, but a little weak over here. But I think for what it's worth, Prashant, I mean, we've, we've suddenly got some green on the screen on uh, most of the indices now. So let's see if it's a bit of a pullback, at least first half. No, absolutely. And, uh, you know, so uh, by the way, 1100 stocks are higher and about 900 stocks are lower. So market breadth is, I mean, not wildly positive, but it is in the positive. It advances outnumber declines at this point in time. Uh, now, just take a look at the losers. Uh, I mean, a few more. Tata Chemicals is the top volume-led loser right now uh, on the screen. So, in short order, from day before yes, that this last Thursday, Thursday's high was 1350. It lost 200 rupees from there, 1150 right now on Tata Chemicals. Uh, that's a big one. Uh, K FinTech, of course, that block we were we were highlighting that uh, stocks opened at about 608. Uh, there is uh, Godfrey Phillips, which is starting down about 4% or so. So 34.85. It's got volumes. I mean, usually it doesn't figure here uh, on the list, but uh, it is this morning. Action construction equipment that is down about one and a half percent. Again, it's got large volumes. KEC is down about two and a quarter percent, uh, and uh, 7.32 or so. Gensol has been correcting uh, for the last many days. The high is, by the way, of almost 1400. From 1400 to about uh, whatever 870, 880. That's a, sh a sharp fall in about a fortnight, right? On Gensol. Uh, there is, uh, what else? I mean, actually, volumes are uh, are, are small. Uh, is, they're not, I mean, right at opening, volumes are thin. Both on the downside, I mentioned a few names, and let's just look at what's up on, on volumes on the upside. Geofin, we mentioned, is a top volume, led again, 3.5% uh, there. Nigel mentioned Oracle Finance and AB Capital. Those, of course, have got decent volumes as well. IGL is up 3%. Solar Industries is up about 2%. And Loris Laboratories, which of course is a huge underperformer, that is up about 2% or so as well. Loris is at about 418. Again, I mean, beyond this, volumes are, I can't, I mean, I could, there's, there's a fair bit happening, but not with volumes. Gokul Das, uh, I think in anticipation of that QIP, the stock's been weakish, uh, but uh, 810 or so on Gokul Das, stock's up about 3%. But again, no, hardly any volumes. Uh, and it's a liquid name uh, right now. So, uh, and by the way, advanced decline is now almost one is to one. Actually, declines more than advances already. This is the first five or six minutes of trade that we're looking at.